韓国と日本へようこそ。Hey, what's up, everybody? First and foremost, before I even say anything else, I want to give a big shout out to Versus Trailers, aka Trey Brotherhood.、Um, I'm going to have his link in the description. This cat makes some crazy, crazy, sick, like just montages and videos. Like, they're just nasty.、Um, you know, he just started getting his videos back up. Uh, he's made like a Gears of War versus Left 4 Dead video. Then he also made a、uh, Kill Zone 2 versus Assassin's Creed 2 video. And they're both just sick. They're nasty.、Um, definitely check them out. You definitely want to sub this guy, without a doubt. And man, if he keeps doing his thing, how he's doing it with the quality that he does it at, and just like the attention to detail he does it, then.、Uh, He, he, without a doubt, will get paid for it. Gaming, college,、uh, career.、Um, I was talking to somebody around, I guess it was right around December time.、Um, it might have been like December or November. I, I forgot. But I was supposed to do this video then. And, you know, I kind of got sidetracked and everything. Whatever.、Uh, but, you know, I, I figured that it's better sooner than later. Go ahead and,、um, yeah, do it now. Okay,、um, for those of you that are looking to go somewhere, okay, actually, before I even get into this, I am by no means the guru on this shit. I might, I might get some stuff wrong, but I can only speak from my own personal experience, okay? I can try to guide people or just at least give them some type of stepping stone to move towards, have kind of some type of idea off of my own experiences with trying to get into the right field for being. You know, in the video game, entertainment, you know, movie industry and stuff like that.、Um, but、uh, yeah, here we go.、Um, when I was first trying to get into gaming, you know, when I found out what I wanted to do, it wasn't right when I got out of high school. Honestly, I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do when I got out of high school. Some people think they know, a lot of people don't know. A lot of people go through college. And they just go through some bullshit for, and they, they get a degree in something that they don't really even enjoy. Or a lot of people graduate from college and don't even get a profession in what they went to college for. Which, you know, I didn't want that to happen to me. So when I graduated high school, I went ahead and took my time. I took about like two years off. And I was like, okay, what do I want to do? And then, you know, it, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I did think about it in high school. You know, it was kind of what I thought I wanted to do, but I just wanted to take my time and make sure it was exactly what I wanted to do. And yeah, you know, I wanted to、um, help make games. I wasn't sure exactly what the aspect was as far as the whole,、um, you know,、uh, level design, you know, programming, you know, character development, all that shit. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew that I wanted. To help make video games and entertainment, you know, movies, whatever. So I、uh, started doing research, you know, started looking into colleges and everything. And being that I live in Virginia, you know, I don't have, you know, a whole shitload of money to spend and all this crap. So, you know, I knew that I had to take schooling in like close to me. I had to. And if I didn't, it had to be online. Now, I don't know too much about the online courses, but when you get into something like video games, you know, something that's a very hands on type of experience, I highly recommend you that you do not take any online courses unless, unless you have the, the resources in order to get these programs and actually practice with these programs and stuff that they're teaching on the online courses. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Because this stuff really takes a lot of hands on learning. It really does.、Um, so, with my situation, you know, I looked up a lot of schools, you know, such as Full Sail and、uh, Digipen in Washington and stuff. And I was like, damn, that, those are way too far from me. You know, I do have a good friend in Florida. You know, I got a relative in Florida also. 
I was like, you know, I could go to Full Sail, but then I started looking at it, it's too expensive, and I'm like, damn. It's like, well, you know, I can go ahead and get uh, some financial aid and all that. You know, I understand I can pay it like 10 years after I get out or whatever, but still, like, that's a lot of money. Like, I'm not sure if I want to do all that. To relocate and, and all that stuff that comes with relocation and going to school, I just didn't think I wanted to deal with that. So I was more comfortable with going to college in the area that I grew up in, that I was already used to. So I started looking around at colleges around here um, in Virginia. And uh, I ran into ECPI. Now ECPI is a big college. Um, it's, uh, it's a technical institute, just like ITT. And um, I went there because I thought that I wanted to, I was like, you know, I just want to make games, that's all. You know, that's all I thought about immediately. I wanted to make games. So I went in there and I got into their um, game and simulation, you know, uh, programming shit. But the problem with that was is that I got into it. I thought I liked it, but then once I started actually getting into the programming, I found out that I wasn't as enthusiastic about it as I was. I really wasn't, um, and I I really understood what it meant to actually program after that. I was like, okay, maybe this isn't for me. So pretty much I did like a year through that. You know, I got some database knowledge, programming knowledge, you know, things like that. And then I was like, you know what? I think I need to move. I think I need to change my major. I know I still wanted to do video games and movies, but a different aspect other than programming. Uh, so I was like, you know, I started searching and you know, I went to DeVry and DeVry was doing mainly just, um, programming so I was like, okay so I went to ITT Tech and I did a lot of research and you know I, I think I said this before like I did a lot of research about ITT Tech about it being um, uh, the best 3D animation uh, college in the country just for specifically 3D animation and uh, you know a, a few other things uh, so I visited the school talked to the counselor and everything and you know I, I, I loved it it was very enticing to me and then as I'm going through this now, I'm like, I'm head over heels over this shit. Like, I can't get enough of it because it is the shit. Um, it's not because because everything I'm doing is about manipulating a program to how I imagine something. That's all it is. Like, it's it's difficult, but at the same time, it's easy. Uh, so if you want to do anything like character development and um, animation, you know, make full CG movies or video game cutscenes or just model and animate the characters that are in video games and stuff like that. It is fucking for you. And basically at ICT Tech and a lot of other schools, they'll start you off in visual communications. All right, that's pretty much your stepping stone. And after that, you'll move into game, um, game design. And that's pretty much the bachelor's of it. Uh, but right now I'm still in visual communications. I've been through um, one modeling course. Uh, I've been through one animation course. I'm in my second animation course right now. We're um, creating characters and learning how to animate them, put in the bone structures, and you know, after that, I can learn how to do bipeds and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty damn sweet. It's honestly rotting, rocking my fucking head right now, but I'm still having fun with it because to me, it's just so goddamn interesting. You know, because at the end of this, I know that I'll be able to sit at my fucking computer and storyboard something and then make that shit happen. You know, that shit's fucking amazing to me. Um, but I will say this, and this goes for any fucking college that you go to when, when doing this, is that... The, the instructors will give you 30%. They will take you 30%. It's up to you to go the rest of the 70. Like, it literally is that. If you fucking, if you think that you can walk into class and think that, oh yeah, I'm gonna learn all this shit, and then go home and play video games all the fucking time, it's not gonna work. You have to actually put your ass in the fucking book. Like, you gotta shit in the book. You gotta piss in the book. <laughs> nah, he ain't gonna do all that shit. But you literally have to learn around the clock you know that's why people are like where are you at on psn you know all this shit i'm like look man i'm fucking studying dog I, that's what i have to fucking do it's my personal 
mission. It is my objective. You know, when I have time to, to play, I will play. But right now, fuck playing video games. Fuck playing video games. I want to make those motherfuckers. Um, but yeah, you have to push yourself to go that fucking extra mile and learn this shit. Uh, you have to make sure that you take the time to either go to the college and use their computers in order to uh, get these programs to, to, to work on the programs to learn more because they're not going to give you the programs. Those programs like 3DS Max, um, Autodesk Maya, uh, you know, there, there's a whole bunch like Mudbox and stuff. Like they're too expensive. The schools aren't going to give them to you unless, uh, maybe full sale, man. I'm not too sure. But it's just not going to happen. You got to make sure that you have your own way of getting these programs. If not, you got to make sure that you're in that fucking college all the time. But um, all right, y'all, this is Champ. And uh, if there's anything that I didn't explain, just let me know. Peace out.